All right. What's up, everybody? It's Dynasty Life here with another episode of Buy or Sell. And today we're doing Clyde's Edwards Hilaire. I'm Stevie B. Along with the Polish Hammer. Bagala. <laughs> and the Bagala. All right. So, yeah, today we're doing uh, Clyde's Edwards Hilaire. Okay. What are we doing? Are we buying or selling in Dynasty? Um, what are we doing, Hammer? I, I, it, it's funny because when the, remember when the Chiefs first got Clyde Edward Hilaire in uh, obviously 2020 and he had those first couple of games and it was like, holy shit, the Chiefs are going to be unstoppable. They got a running game now. They got a running back. And I was looking at him. I was like, damn, this guy is pretty good. This guy can, you know, do some things. Um, I'm selling. Um, I'm definitely not buying. I don't. <laughs> think that the Chiefs are committed to the run enough. They have Andy Reid, who is their head coach, who historically throws the ball 70% of the time um, as the play caller and the head coach in any of his offenses. Um, I do think he's a good young running back, but he doesn't move the needle enough for me, even if I did need a running back to go out there and get him. Um, obviously, as you can see on the screen, they the Chiefs just picked up Ronald Jones to work in tandem so obviously that's going to cut into some of his production and I could even see that cutting into goal line work uh for Clyde Edwards Hilaire as Ronald Jones is a little bit more of a bigger you know girthier running back that could take up some of those goal line carries um so I'm selling on Clyde Edwards Hilaire I don't got a ton of feeling on him but not somebody that I would target even if I did, did need an RB2, um, he would only see the field on my team or only see the lineup on my team if um, I needed an emergency flex and he was out there. Um, I just don't see enough, and I don't see enough ways that they can get him the ball considering that they're, they're a pass-first team. Um, he has a little bit of an injury history now, as you can see, 2020, 13 games, 2021, 10 games. That never bodes well for a running back. Um, so I'm out on Clyde Edwards Hilaire. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he can't stay healthy. You know, uh, that's pretty much the biggest thing. But, you know, all that hype, you know, coming out, Kansas City finally could run the ball. Right. It just didn't happen that way. And, um, you know, I'm with you here. I'm selling as well. And, you know, especially with Ronald Jones there, now, I think they split – I think they split carries rushing. Like you said, I don't think they rush as much. But I do think they throw the ball more. And I think Clyde Edwards-Hilaire is going to be part of that pass catching, you know, part of it. Well, um, I mean, he was – he was RB 38, but he was even lower of an RB in PPR, which lets you, you know, gives you a little bit of insight into how involved in the passing game he was relative to his overall value. So that's why yeah. I'm saying out. And then don't forget the year before he caught, he did catch 54 passes, but he was used in a different aspect. Don't forget. They did have Jarek McKinnon to work the third downs. You know, they had a few different guys. So, you know, now with Ronald Jones there, I think Ronald Jones becomes more of the, you know, rusher, even though they're going to split carries. And Edwards Hilaire takes over that, you know, that third down and, and pass catching because I think that they'd rather have Hilaire out there to catch passes than Ronald Jones, of course. So Yeah, but um, even still, I don't think his value is high enough, even as a third down pass catcher or a split back cat pass catcher to vault me into – needing to go out and get him um, oh i'm not saying that either I, I i'm just saying that's just how i see him more kind of in the yeah no that makes sense and they got to make up some for some of that production of losing tyreek hill so that that yeah. theory makes sense and i i yeah. I, I, ahead, I, I actually I, I actually think that um he he's a really interesting by low candidate um this the this chief's offense is offense is going to look different it, it, this is not going to be a. If you think that the Chiefs are going to lose Tyreek Hill and still be a vertical downfield offense, it is. I just don't see it. That was their big play. That was my stretch the field guy. That was the guy that was going to take a safety with him and open up everything in the middle. This, this, this offense, I think, is going to come back. Is going to look a, a a lot different, and it's going to 
start moving the ball in, in shorter increments instead of those big boom plays. And I think the the I think when they first got uh, Clyde Edwards, they they just used him wrong. They thought they were going to run the ball with him. He's he, look how big he is. He's only five eight, two oh nine. Like he's a smaller type of guy. Ronald Jones, Rojo coming in there taking some of that early down work and not necessarily even the first and second down work, just getting those tough yards. Yes. He's going to take some goal line carries, but I think that's why they got, they got him. The chiefs are going to want to pass the ball. I just don't think it's going to be downfield. I think it's going to be more short with Juju with Kelsey. And I think if you put Clyde Edwards Hilaire in a receiving role and he gets, instead of, you know, and he gets, you know, maybe 10 carries a game instead of trying to pound him with 15, 20 carries a game. I think he stays healthy and then you give him more work in the passing game. Cause he is a good pass catcher out of the backfield. He can do that. And I think that's what they really drafted him for was having a versatile back that can catch the ball. So if he can stay healthy, I think Rojo is going to be a big part of that because he's just going to, take less pounding between the tackles and, and, and more of that outside on a side on, on, on the sideline work, screens, swing passes, get him out running some option routes. I think in PPR, Clyde Edwards can and can take a bump and at the very least um, you know, be a solid RB2 in that area. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and just do what he's supposed to. You're not going to get RB1 upside out of him. You're not going to get anything like that. But he can be a solid RB2 in PPR. And I think where this Chiefs offense is going, don't give me NBS, all right? He, he uh-huh. was with Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay. Yes, he would catch a bomb here or there, and then he would disappear four weeks and you didn't and, and you couldn't find him you know what I'm saying and, and I w- I like Nico Hardman but Polish should say he's been there also and he yeah. has not he, he has not been a consi- consistent enough downfield threat like they thought he was going to be also so I think there's going to be a lot more there's going to be a lot more balls to go around because they're going to be working that that big play thing for for Kansas City. I'm not saying it's totally gone, but Kansas City just seemed like they would consistently hit big play after big play, and I that was because of ten, and he's not there no more. So no. your offense is the only your offense is going to take a hit. My only my only counterpoint to that is while all that's true and it's it's hard for me to refute it, um, I, I feel like. I have some trust in Andy Reid to make the pieces fit, right? And Andy Reid has shown over the years, whether with with Donovan McNabb or even Alex Smith, when he first got to Kansas City, I feel like Andy Reid is a creative enough offensive mind where he can find ways to get some explosive plays out of a MBS, out of a Juju, whoever they go in the draft. They have two first-round picks. Bagala and I talked about this uh, a little bit earlier today. We were on the phone and what do they do with those two first round picks? Do they move up? Do they they go get a nice young stud wide receiver? Remember Tyreek Hill, when they got Tyreek Hill, he was what a fourth, fifth round pick, something like that. So it's not like they, it's not like Kansas city hasn't shown that they can go out and draft and develop a good wide receiver and explosive type guy. So I am putting a little bit of faith in Andy Reid to, you know, be able to create some more explosive opportunities. But as far as Clyde Edwards Hilaire goes, I just don't see it him being valuable enough to go out and buy. Um, there, there are some other guys out there that I would rather have. I'd rather have a Kareem Hunt, obviously, even though he's still in a split. I'd rather have some. I'd rather have somebody like AJ Dillon over Clyde Edward Hilaire, to be honest with you. Well, because uh-huh. with A.J. Dillon, you, you, you grab A.J. Dillon because he's a bigger back and, and he has a different role. If you go and grab A.J. Dillon, you're going to grab goal line touchdown. That, that's what you're going to grab because that's what he's going to get. 
And now has he shown the ability to, you know, be that that three that every down back and, and, and also get the tough yards he has, but they still have Aaron Jones there. I just and I also put when I say uh, you know, Clyde Edwards is a buy low candidate, I put a lot of faith in Andy Reid also. Because, mm -hmm. you know, once upon a time, I'm a Giants fan. I know this. One of the most versatile running backs Andy Reid has ever had was a guy by, by the name of Brian Westbrook. Mm -hmm. He wasn't overly big he, and he wasn't overly fast. But you know what? Andy Reid put him in space. He threw him the ball. He got him the ball in his hands in space and he let those things happen. Clyde Edwards Hilaire kind of mm -hmm. reminds me of that yeah. type of player. Mm, but know. you got yeah. it. You have to, for me, you can't pound. He's a, he's a small dude. You can't run him uh, uh, first and se second down into the line and expect him to, to just reel off chunks. That's mm. not how you, you, you got to get him in space outside. And I just think with this year, with the loss of Tyreek Hill, they're going to be looking for things to do. And I think he, he could potentially have a, a you know, maybe a big year catching the ball because yeah. Patrick Mahomes is going to have to check down. You can't throw it up to say, forget about it. Tyreek's down there somewhere. No, he's not there yeah. no more. Mm -hmm. I, I think, I, I think they might draft somebody as well. Um, and then don't forget last season, it all started last season where they started to figure out, okay, we got to play two high safeties and ch the chiefs changed their game. They started going underneath a lot more screen passes, a lot more short passes, right? We saw that, you know, um, they'll still be those big plays every once in a while because Patrick Mahomes can just extend plays, you know, it won't be as much and, and there'll be more designed offense to, you know, rely more on the short game and intermediate game. So, you know, I, I think they will be all right there, but as far as class Hilaire, yeah, I mean, Possibly he could have value in, in PPR. Um, I think it really all depends on the draft as well. If they wind up drafting a running back, um, they're definitely drafting a wide receiver in the first round. I don't think there's a doubt about that, but um, you never know what could happen. But yeah, I mean, I, I guess I, I would buy low if I can spend a second round pick on him. I mean, I'm not spending a first or anything significant, um, and if I had to sell him, I'd probably expect maybe a second round pick also, I mean, I don't think I, I'd expect a first uh, in return. Maybe you can find a Chiefs fan or somebody that just is in love with Hilaire, you know, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, and they'll throw you a first. But, uh, you know, if you had to buy Bagala, what are you buying for? Um, I'm not. If, if I, I Like, I wouldn't target him or anything. But, like, you know, if it came to it and I, and I was like, all right, yeah, I'll buy on him. You know, like you said, maybe it's a second-round pick. Or just maybe, um, you know, a, a, a devaluing player, somebody that, you know, maybe had a so-so a season, but, you, you know, is just, you know, he's on the downside and, and he's moving down. Maybe you can get him for a player like that. You know what I'm saying? An older player, maybe somebody, something like that. You know what I'm saying? But I know there's a lot of people out there who probably have Clyde Edwards-Hilaire and are just – they're, they're just – they're disappointed. And so they're looking to move them. And if you can go pick up a 23-year-old running back with PPR upside for a second-round pick or say, I don't know, a, a, y, a, a y receiver three or something like that who has – you know, he's, he's down bad right now, but he does have – he does have some really good upside. And running back is thin. So if you can get them for maybe, you know, like say somebody like a DJ Chark that just signed a, a contract in 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 um in Detroit and uh he had a good season, then he's coming off an injury season, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. Yeah. He, he he was hurt all season, so people are still unsure. He goes to Detroit, something like that. Somebody in need of a wide receiver three or a flex. Maybe you can steal Clyde Edwards to live for, for, for something low like that and get some really good upside from him. But I'm 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 not going out there and saying, yeah, I'll give you a first round pick for Clyde Edwards to live. Yeah. I'm no. not doing that. If he's but, on my team, I'm probably holding him 
I'm probably yeah. just holding them because I'm not going to get what I want. And for me, the second round pick probably wouldn't be worth it. I mean, it depends if you're rebuilding maybe, but mm-hmm. you might as well just hold them and, and, and hope it, for the best. If they draft a running back, you're probably screwed. But, uh, you know, at, at this point, you already have them. You might as well just hold them and, and, and hope that he can break out somehow. And yeah, what, that's what, what the – that's the best case scenario um, that you could hope for is hope that over the first maybe four to six weeks that he goes out there and averages somewhere in that 12, you know, that 12 point range, 12 to 13 range. And, and then you sell high on him. That's really the best upside you could hope for if you have Clyde Edwards Hilaire um, and you're looking to move off of him. Um but Bagala, looking at his rankings right now, what what's his ceiling to you? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, he his rankings for this year are a little screwed. He missed a ton of games this year, so you know. But you can after you who's your top running backs? You got Henry, Chubb. Taylor, there's too many the name to right. get yeah. before you get to Clyde so, Edwards Hilaire. Before so you get to Clyde Edwards Hilaire, but <laughs> he could, I think he can be, you know, anywhere from a, a, a top 15 to 20 running back with PPR upside. Oh, that's, I don't know. That's, uh, that's fishing a little bit for that's, me. That's 20? That's like 20? That's yeah. The best case with the stars aligning. Yeah, I think, that's, I think um, considering considering they brought in Ronald Jones and he's going to snake some of that goal line work, he, he he's limited. If he can if he totals six touchdowns on the season, I'll be surprised. I don't know. I think he I think he can get up there. You're going to have to. There's a hard time telling me that there's going to be 20 more guys with with was higher upside than Clyde yeah. edwards well, at, at, a, at, at a, a, a thin running back position. Well, upside is always one of those things that you look at and you're like, what is he on his best day, his best week, his best year? But if, if we're looking at it right now in PPR, he was 45, which means there were 44 running backs that had higher value than him. He didn't miss a bunch of games, to be fair. He, 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 miss, he missed but that's a, a part of it, of right? Games. That's a part of it, though, that, you know, best ability is availability. So if you're not available, you're already giving me a bagel as we speak. So, you know, that that factors into it. So even if he cracks the top 40, even if he gets into that 30 range, is that enough? to to move the needle for you i i don't think so i i the talent the talent that he has i think he's he's a lot better than that now he does have to stay healthy and you know i just feel like the the chiefs offense are going to be they're going to be looking they're going to be looking for you know and like like steve said they could scheme up some screen passes those screen passes usually went to to tyree kill you know or whatever the case is, and, and a big a big chunk of their offense is not there. You're not. Why would I rely on guys that I just brought in that don't know the playbook, that don't know shit? When I have a guy here that's 23 years old who can catch the ball out of the backfield, run a little bit, and, and he's been here with me and, and knows how we do things. I think he's in line for a lot of work this year, receiving out of the backfield. I don't know really what what that's going to amount to, but I, do I think he's going to be the best running back in their backfield? Yes. Rojo is not better than Clyde edwards Alaire. No, I'm not saying that he is, but will he be the healthiest and cash in on those opportunities? Because, you know, we say Tyreek Hill's not there, but they did replace him with basically MVS and Juju. So they're going to eat into some of the work. We know who Tyre- uh, Travis Kelsey is. He's They'll draft the somebody. Yeah. They'll probably draft yeah. another receiver. So there's, you know, in that pecking order, where does he fall? He's probably the third or fourth option on, a be- on the best day. As right now, I could see him being the, the third option. I know and they want Juju. I think Juju flirted with them before he came back to Pittsburgh for Ben's last year. Juju flirted with the Chiefs a little bit a year ago. And so he wanted to be there. So, and I think they wanted him there. So I think it's going to be Kelsey numero uno. 
I think Juju will be the second option. And then it's a toss up. And if I got to take somebody else in that offense and it's going to be a good offense, I'm going to take Clyde Edwards Alaire because, you know, Patrick Mahomes is in the center and you got Andy Reid there that uh, knows what, what the hell he's doing. So yeah, I mean, he'll listen, be the third option. And I, I think he has a good season. In terms of a buy low candidate, you know, it kind of makes sense because you really can't buy any lower than what his value is right now coming off mm-hmm. of a 10 game season not as productive as maybe many people would have hoped the departure. So you're looking for some opportunities, but I I just, where was he drafted? Yeah. I I mean, I I think for a player like this, you almost have to hold at least until the draft and figure out who they pick up. Yeah. Cause if they draft a running back, I mean, Hilaire's done, you know? Yeah. But I I don't, I don't, the, the, the chiefs have a lot of other glaring needs. Um, the, the Patrick replace. Mahomes, they do, they do, but you the just, Patrick yeah, Mahomes contract is killing them right now. Well, and they got to replace they, some of those. They lost well, Tyron Matthew. Not that they expensive right some now, expensive guys. It, it gets worse in the years to come. But anyway, uh, yeah. So it's it's murdering them right now. Anyway, as far as Hilaire, I think you know, like I said, hold for now, and then either sell off or. You know, buy low, like we're saying as well. You know, if you just want a flyer and you can just throw a second round pick out there and pick him up and just, you know, have him on your bench and hope he does the best. I mean, I'd do that. <laughs> yeah. You know? So Yeah. Or, you know, try if you if you need a flex and you're able to get him for low for the low, you know, slip him in a flex. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if I just think there's, there's, you know, you can do a lot worse if you're in that situation than taking a shot at getting Clyde that was a layer for pennies on the dollar. Yeah, I think we'll we'll see how they wound up using them, and, and I guess we'll take it from there. But uh, other than that, I think that wraps it up for uh, Clyde's, uh, Hilaire, Clyde's Edwards Hilaire on the buy or sell. So uh, like, subscribe, comment, let us know who you want us to do next, and uh, we'll see you all next time. Adios. Peace.